Okay, back on this Ford. Um, uh, Ford 1110, Japanese Shibiru, Shibaru. Was getting so depressed about this motor. Um, did the valves at um, 0.2 millimeter or 0 0.008 um, on the compression stroke? <laughs> wasn't getting anything so I ended up <coughs> taking off the um, taking out the uh, uh, bu -bu -bu -bum. I'm just seeing what temperature it's at right now uh, okay I don't want to get sidetracked but it feels kind of hot anyways so I took out the injectors and I cleaned them. They were stuck. Um, I ended up <clears throat> knocking off the tip of this one right here, trying to get it unstuck. It was stuck. Um, just kept trying and trying and trying. I got some of that in the video. Um, but I just wasn't con wasn't uh, convinced you know again the guy said that uh, a mechanic told him that it had a piston uh, blown it just didn't seem like it was getting enough pressure into these uh, to me into the uh, I cleaned out the the channels in there um, uh, so I wasn't getting anywhere I was bleeding the system opening cracking open the line um, opening up the line to make sure gas was coming I mean diesel was coming through it just wasn't getting anywhere I started getting somewhere though when I would I would put my hand over the intake oh, that's hot over the intake and see a little bit uh, so it just came to me okay well then I put these uh, return lines in and started pulling uh, diesel through um, with this uh, uh, in this new this injector right here now I really got somewhere though when I started putting the uh, drops of diesel into the intake and then it would really start moving um, now you know people will put that's where they'll they'll spray the starter fluid but I got a much better response when I sprayed in the the diesel um, I would constantly, you know, I would make sure that it was warmed up with the glow plug. Um, but let's try it out and see what happens. It starts up good on high. Now for this, the kill is all the way down. There is no uh, kill by the switch or a kill pull at all. So we're going to start it on full um, throttle and then I'll throttle it down. i got to have my foot on the clutch. Okay, let's try it again. And here we go. And it's good to go. Now, uh, we'll see if the guy wants to buy it back. Um, he was interested in probably buying it back if I could get it started. I bought it for 800 I really don't know if I want it. Um, but, it's, you know, it's got the front bucket. I like that about it. It idles now. Um, everything's gonna have to be gone through it if I if I keep it it's low on uh, fluid it's got tons of leaks I don't think it's got a hole in the block um, I don't even know if there's any um, uh, antifreeze in there right now or coolant um, he has the wrong coolant in there okay this is the rpm this is uh, I guess the temperature gauge right here um, so we're gonna go ahead and shut it off um, and uh, now that it works uh, what is this thing I'm assuming yeah this is the gauge for the temp the temperature gauge the radiator is in awful shape um, I might, I, if I keep it, I, I might even put a Geo Metro radiator in it. This is a 0.7 liter, so it's even smaller than a three-cylinder Geo. This is a two-cylinder diesel.
So any geo part, it's Japanese, any geo part would work on this. Um, it's got a, looks like it's got a brand new uh, air filter. Uh, I just want to see if it will actually start now on maybe a medium. Yeah, it'll start on medium. Okay. So again, I don't want to do too much running on it, running of it, um, until I get the uh, cooling system. Um, drained and um, make sure it's got good uh, final charge 50-50 uh, in it uh, made for diesel as you can see right now, now I got I had the truck on there because I was going through batteries so um, you know now I can switch it off the truck power but that truck gave it the good cranking amp that it needed um, to really get that thing turning to get whatever flowing through there that wasn't flowing through there another thing I think an important thing I did I noticed that bubbles were coming up out from each injector as it was uh, trying to start and so you know never read anything about this or nobody ever told me but I went ahead and put some um, of this just normal um, where is it um, Teflon tape around the threads and um, I don't see it's actually dry here now it was all wet around there so you know all kinds of things could have been causing this problem just as old as this motor was maybe it was getting hot uh, maybe it's got some warpage going on um, but uh, you know it's really hot right now uh, well you know hot hot enough to the touch I'd, I'd love to see it run a little bit cooler than that like I said, I don't think it has any. Uh, I don't think it has any coolant in it right now. Uh, it definitely has a leak right there. Uh, I would definitely sell the guy, sell this back to the guy for a thousand, um, just because uh, it's going to need so much work uh, and all that. Uh, so um, I don't know what kind of. Uh, I, it, this might call for the old-fashioned uh, Ford uh, red transmission uh, fluid um, or it might call for the uh, what I've been putting in the the hydro trans uh, fluid uh, I'm sure it wouldn't hurt to put that in there um, it's a very lightweight tractor it would definitely have its limitations but uh, this guy was, I mean, he was running a full size, um, kind of like a, a, a brush hog like that with it. Um, and he was running, uh, the, a tiller with it. Uh, he did all kinds of stuff with it. So, I mean, he was getting tons of use out of it. He said he'd hate to get rid of it, but, uh, like I said, I, I would probably sell it back to him, um, just for the sheer fact. Now, the only thing I really like about it what sold me on it was the four-wheel drive and the bucket so um, I I would hate to park for it just for that purpose that it has a four-wheel drive now this tractor I think I said before I thought was a Ford it is not it's like a um, a Sater or something like that I don't know some 475 D um, back ends locked up uh, but it's got the three-cylinder diesel and it also has a four-wheel drive front end um, so, uh, you know, we'll have some decisions to make um, on what to do.